Today, I'll show you how to do your BitGet crypto taxes. Hello, my name is Nelly. Welcome back to another integration video. Today we're talking about BitGet and specifically how to do your crypto taxes with Coinly. So this is a update video. I've made this video in the past, but some things have changed and I wanna make sure that you guys are up to date with the latest instructions. So I'll tell you a little bit about them, then I'll jump into those instructions and then I'll show you how to get the necessary tax documentation. As always, if you have any comments, questions, concerns, I'll leave a bunch of resources down below. So BitGet was founded in 2018 and they're based out of Singapore. Currently, they are a top 100 exchange um, by trading volume. They offer quite a few features on their platform from basic spot trading to futures. They also have a reward center where you can earn crypto for, for performing basic tasks on their platform. They have a bunch of other features. Let me know what you're using the platform for. First step, as always, go into your Coinly account. If you don't have one, don't panic. You can create one completely free and follow along until the very end. So go into your wallets area and click on add wallet. And then we're going to find BitGet. So there it is. There are two different options for this one. The API is the recommended and I believe the easier route. But if you'd like to see the other option, I will show you that as well. For now, let's start up, uh, start with the setup auto sync. So we need three different pieces of information. One is the API key. The second is the API secret. And lastly, it's the API passphrase. Okay, on their platform now. So in the top right corner, there's a little profile emoji or whatever you want to call it. And from there, you're gonna have a drop down menu that says API. So here, as you can see, I've already created one, but we'll do it uh, again. We're gonna click on create API. We'll call it Coinly2 since I already created the other one. Passphrase, um, it needs to be between eight to 34 characters. So we'll call it Coinly123. Yep, pretty straightforward, that's exactly eight. And then we wanna click on read only and select all of these options. Um, if you're not doing some of these, you don't have to obviously select um, you know, certain things like uh, futures, but I think it's easier just to click on all of these and then click on next. So now you will get two verification codes. Make sure you enter those. So I've entered my two codes and there is now my API key. So copy and paste that there. Here is my secret copy and paste that here. And then if you remember our passcode, which will probably be different for you, obviously, uh, was Coinly123. And there you have it. Just click, click secure import and you're all set. Okay, now for the second part, I'll show you how to get your CSV files. So we're gonna click on import from file this time, and then we're gonna go into our account here. So let's go and click on this little wallet emoji in the top right corner. And then from here, there's an option that says financial records. Click on that and let's start off with spot records. Spot records is the first one we're going to do. There's a bunch of other things. Obviously, if you're not performing these actions, you don't have to worry about it. If you're not doing any futures, you obviously don't need a futures um, CSV. So let's click on export and see what happens. Okay, so we have the date. We want to do over 90 days. Select a time frame that includes your entire history from the first day you open your account to whatever tax year you're doing. Uh, then we're going to select all coins, um, all types, format, CSV, and then we're going to generate. So as you can see, that file is generating. Once it's done, simply download it and drag and drop it here into Coinly and click import. And there you have it. So once your transactions have been imported, head over into the transactions area and make sure everything is sitting correctly with you. If you have any type of staking, make sure that stuff is tagged correctly, send to pool, send from pool. And then let's head over into our tax reports area. So in our tax reports area, you will get fi one final summary of all your transactions, deposits, withdrawals, trades, transfers, your capital gains, your income, your costs and expenses. If you're happy with everything you see here, scroll on down and select a tax report appropriate for your needs. And we have plenty of different options as you see on the screen before you. For the US, we have the IRS Schedule D Form 8949. You can also export to TurboTax both online and desktop versions. We have reports for UK, Sweden, Norway, France, Switzerland, Australia, and then lastly, Canada, Germany, and other countries. We have the complete tax report, which keep in mind is a document you can print off and give directly to your accountant, and they will combine it with your other tax documentation, 
or alternatively, you can invite them to CoinLink to set up their account, see firm here with us. And then lastly, check your country's rules and regulations because this tax report might be deductible. But that'll about do it for today's video. If you need further assistance, I'm gonna leave a bunch of different resources down below, starting off with the CoinLink Help Center with countless different crypto tax related articles. We have a forum section if you'd like to talk to members of our community as well as our staff. We have a feedback section if you're having any issues with our software. And then lastly, if all else fails, send us a message directly. We'd love to help you out. But I do hope you found this video helpful. If you did, consider dropping a like, subscribing for more crypto content, and I'll see you next time. Peace.